Hey folks, man, I got my uh, carbon fiber drag washers from my Daiwa 300H reels. So, uh, I got these neat little sweethearts, I think I mentioned them before. Little sweetheart of a three aught reels that I'm going to use as my planer, my uh, planer pulling for you know, uh, just trolling planers, stuff like that is what I'm going to use them for. And uh, Daiwa, you know, has some really not wonderful drag system going in it. So, what I did is I uh, I'm trying out some of these carbon fiber drag washers on eBay. I figured I'd give it a shot. But, what I'm going to show you here is Paul just gave me an idea over an email. Because he was discussing how he uh, bought a Mustad made in China flay knife or something. And a part fell off of it already and it's blunt. I'm going to show you something. I don't know if everybody's ever seen this, but this gives me a little idea of another thing just to show you. I'm going to show you what somebody does when they take their fish cleaning very seriously. All right, well, I'm up in the boat. I keep, you know, I keep all my fillet stuff in the boat. And, um, I mean, like most people, I'm not doing anything any different than anybody else. Most people keeps keep all their... If they've got a boat, they keep all their stuff in the boat. And this is what I call my fish cleaning attache case. All right, let me show it to you. Uh, this is nothing but a Plano box. I put stickers on it so because I've got many of these boxes, so I know which one's which. This one's got the fish symbol on it, so this means that's for cleaning fish. This is nothing but a handgun case from Plano. Plano makes all these plastic boxes and stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you look in here, and what do you see? Well, you see foam... And this is called Kazen foam. And what this is, is unlike other foams, you draw out what you want, and then you go down into it, and you peel the layers out until you get the depth and everything. Okay? Um, I'll show it to you. See if I can pull it out of here. There you go. See how that's got layers? That's called Kazen foam. This is what was left over from me making a GoPro case for my cameras. Uh, but the thing about it was, is I ended up getting another case and it already came, it already came with all the uh, foam cutouts. So I took that case and I made this. And everything fits in its place. And I was telling Paul, I use nothing but these Forgener knives. I mean, these things are, you know, really bad ass. Man, things are just so wicked sharp. Okay. That there, I guess what they call that, that's a, uh, like a beef skinner knife. What I use this for is for really hacking through some big boned fish. All right, so I got that. It fits in its little slot. Got another one here. Fits in the slot. You notice um, no rust, no nothing. These are, you know, For Forgener Victorinox. Victorinox. Okay. 
Um, you can get these with wooden handles, but wooden handles ain't that great around salt water. Okay, so then I got two of those, and then I got my Forgener little thin blade here. All right. You notice how everything lays in there really nice. I mean, I kind of fell into this, so this takes some doing. I keep a little spray bottle here that my mom gave me from some Dove Extra Hold hairspray or something. I guess she went on a trip and she bought a little bottle of hairspray or something. I keep that in a cutout. And then I keep my ceramic sharpening stick in another cutout. All right. So, in all reality, everything stays good and dry and well organized. When I'm done with these knives and I wash them off, I dry them and then I give them a little spritz of this, this little WD-40 or something in here and I wipe them down and then I put it in here and the foam kind of gets not saturated but the foam gets a little uh, little wetness of the oil in it. So that's, uh, that's how I keep my knives. I refer to this as the fish cleaning attache case. I was, I was joking with Paul on an email. I said, you know what attache stands for? That's French for some, there's some good shit in here. So that's how I keep my knives on the boat inside my console storage and uh, really works out and at the same time it's very impressive wouldn't you think wouldn't you think a guy that pulls his fish cleaning attache case out of his console and lays it down and opens it up and goes to clean your fish wouldn't you think this guy takes his fish cleaning very serious I think so.